Peace, salute, what's good y'all, it's your brother God Science up in here once again Shout out, special salute to the few that do watch the videos and subscribe I really appreciate y'all, true indeed uh, All my subscribers, that like the video, share, do all that good stuff, you know what I mean? I know my hair's looking a little rough, I gotta get that fixed up Um, hope everybody's doing great out there, alright, um Y'all see the title, man. Um, and I didn't want to make a video about it because I wanted to read everything and see what was going on. And this is just bad all the way, man. I know there's a lot of people on the, on YouTube that's celebrating. And look, we have this thing in America called innocent until proven guilty. I think it's just the other way around. <laughs> For real, you know, um... So, I'm going to hold off on casting judgment. Now, that video that I, we saw with Cassie, that speaks a lot of volume, all right? But at the same time, I have people like, well, you know, she was there in a relationship. And girls, certain girls like that, um, you know. I, and I've been in a relationship where... I'd have I had a girlfriend that basically used to like fight. She was very physical. Like we'd get in a fight and I'd be sitting there. She took one time she took like a a picture frame and knocked it upside my head. And I'm like, yo, I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? Because if I do anything, the cops gonna come. I'm gonna get locked up. She's chasing me down the street. And, you know, I'm like, yo, this is like the first time she she did it. And, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And me being a, you know, sucker, I, I fall for it. Go back to her house and she wants to make passionate love. So I'm not, I'm not giving Diddy a pass on that, kicking someone in the head and stuff like that. But I do understand where that dude was coming from, where some people like that toxic stuff. Not saying she does. I don't know her. You know what I'm saying? She has a right to feel the way she she does. And like I said, I'm not condoning that type of behavior. I would never put my hands on a woman like that. The only way I would have, if my life, if my life was in danger or something, I'll defend myself. Other than that, my mom raised me different. But I, like I said, I do. I have seen things like that couple of things, questions that I have is like, you know, when I was reading the indictment, it was also people that were so-called helping them. Where are these people at? That's what I want to know. Like, why they're not locked up? You know, I, I don't see, I just see Diddy. You know, he had to have accomplices and people to help him. Why they're not being help? you know, you know, being put in, in jail with him. Um... Now, the beginning of the indictment was like a, like a little bit, I don't get it. Now, I always said this, prostitution, me personally, is a very dumb law. And I'll explain myself to you, all right? If you're a grown person, all right, 21 and over, and I'm a grown person, 21 and over, I want to have sex with you. And you want to be paid for it. Some people do this. They just don't physically. They just d don't call it that. But they do it. There is no laws being broken. Once that person is a willing the adult. That's consenting to. You know. Have sex. And another per con adult. Is consenting to have sex. And I'm going to give you. Let's say $500. I don't, I don't see the problem with that. That's two adults. You know what I'm saying? So that law, I, I never got. Now, if you're doing it against someone's will, like they say they have evidence of Diddy sedating people, you're not, you know, putting stuff in people's drinks, they're not thinking right, then that's a problem, all right? So then that's a problem. But if you're clear-minded and you you want to do that transaction with someone I, I don't think that person should go to jail you know it's their body and 
that's going to be going on for the from, from now to the end of time. <laughs> that's not going to stop. That's like the whole oldest profession. You know what I mean? But that's just my perspective on it. And like I said, this is no in defense of Diddy, but it's just certain things that I'm seeing that just doesn't add up. Now, they say they have a lot of evidence. I would like to see those videos. Um, we're not allowed in courtrooms in federal, especially in New York, so I understand that. But at the same time, um, you know, I always said that, you know, a lot of, we have a lot of witnesses um, from me watching other videos, uh, you know, what other brother takes is on it. Somebody's basically snitching. And, you know, um, look, if he's guilty, you know, I always believe that the universe is always going to balance things and he's going to have to pay for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's no denying that Diddy is a uh, woo uh, out there dude. All right. Um, I like to have sex with just one woman, period. I'm, I'm, I'm a real simple dude. If I, you know, if I had Diddy Muddy, just a uh, fine chick, someone that I that I love, you know what I'm saying? That got my back. I'm I'm straight. I don't need all this like on um, double play and and baby oil and I'm. It, it, it's like, ah, right, bro. Woo. And you know, someone said, man, like they talk about the Illuminati, and they said the Illuminati doesn't get you. What they do is they give you access to your passions get you, your desires. And some people just have some some real dark desires. And they'll let your desires take you out. And it seems like this is what, you know, Diddy has like, you know, a lot of money. So whatever desire he can think in his head, he wants to perform it. But I just don't get the weirdness with it, man. Like... You know why you you you're you're a puff daddy. You can probably get any woman you want in the world. Why you want this this forcing people and 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 keeping them captive is like some control thing, and that's the sick part of it. You know what I mean? I guarantee you that this dude had some weird childhood, man. And you know a lot of people should look into that and see like how how he grew up as a child, and that's not an excuse. Not saying that he shouldn't pay for it or anything like that, but they should really look into how, you know, like was something happened when he was because he seems like he has some type of issues with women. You have people saying ever since he was going like to Howard University, he, he was like abusive. Some something with women there is is a little bit off. I'm not a psychologist or, or you know, a psychiatrist or anything like that just looking in from afar, you know what I mean? Um, but that's just my basic. I'm just going to sit back and watch um, and see how this plays out. Um, as far as the bail thing, you know, I don't think he's a flight risk. Um, I have seen other people now. I do understand. I don't know why in the world he would try to contact a victim when the feds are looking at you. I, I just don't, I don't get that. But, um, you know, I don't think he's a flight risk or anything. Where the hell he's going to go? Unless he's going to do plastic surgery or anything. Everybody's going to know that's Diddy. Um, <laughs> but, you know, and there's a lot of people that did worse things that has got, you know, bail. And, you know, I'm not trying to put it all. I'm not going to put all this on the black thing. But we do get treated a little, a little, a little, little just, a little, just a little, a little, a little bit different. All right. Just a little bit different. But, you know, um, I do get what, you know, if you're calling the, you know, blowing up Kit Cuddy's car and stuff, you see you things like this. It doesn't help you. Yeah, you know, allegedly, you know, that's that's what I heard, you know. So. Over a girl, man, you know, it's like. These dudes get to live their dream, man. You know, there's, you know, musicians like myself and a lot of local artists I know that, you know, they're, 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 
they're working a job that they hate, that they have to go to every day just to support their family. And they'll do anything just to get their music heard or something. And these dudes get at their foot in the industry and succeed in it. And just seem to like, just destroy it. You know, it's like, come on, man. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But that's just my thought on it. It's all bad all around. And the reason I say that, you know, we don't have a lot of black entrepreneurs here. You know, Diddy, as far as him, his work ethic, get into that level, it does and it can motivate other people to do that. You know what I'm saying? So there is some good there, you know, but just his private life is just real freaky, man. I mean, how much bottles of baby I, I don't even use baby oil uh, 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 <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I don't know man it's not funny because I mean this man got family you know and it's the the it's all bad all around man so we're just gonna watch and just see you know what's up you know um what y'all think um if you have any thoughts leave it in the comments like the video subscribe if you made it this far it's not gonna hurt it doesn't cost a thing but y'all stay safe out there and um yeah all you brothers out there that's um you know paying money for women to fly out and stuff y'all be careful man because i didn't even know that was considered um sex trafficking so, please, man, be careful, y'all, all right? You know how they do us, man. Peace.